Welcome to Shock the System. This one's about Christmas in November. Alright, so it pretty much started uh, in October where, you know, we had Halloween. And in Australia, we don't, sell, we don't celebrate Halloween, but somehow we had Halloween decorations. And towards, say, midway to slash the end of October, we started getting Christmas decorations. I'm talking Christmas lights being put up in the shopping centre, Christmas trees being sold, decorations, and, excuse my French, but it's fucking November, there's no Christmas in November, or October for that matter, it starts December the 1st, or if you want to be technical, December 15th, then you've got the 10 days of Christmas, so why the fuck are we seeing decorations in, in late October, to now... It's not like I said, we had Halloween and we don't even celebrate that here in Australia. And then we see all these decorations. Now, I say this every year, I don't celebrate Christmas. The only reason I do anything for Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ, which technically for us Christians didn't really happen in, in December. So, yeah, figure that one out. Um, so, I cannot understand to this day why you see... And we have this deep down the road, people putting up Christmas lights at the front of their places, setting up all these Christmas um, things for like their front yards and stuff. And I do believe if you celebrate Christmas or do anything Christmas in the month of October or November, you're fucking stupid. Because if you go by the calendar, you know what Christmas Day is, you know what Christmas month is. It's not October and it's not November. To, so to all these fuckhead celebrating or doing something Christmas related that includes putting up your Christmas trees, you're fucking idiots. I mean, I'm going to be honest there. I mean, you know, I can understand if you're doing it in December. But then when I start hearing Christmas carols at, you know, mid mid November and in you know, late October, I don't want to hear fucking Christmas carols when I go shopping. You know what I'm saying? That's just fucking stupid. And it's worse when, like, Christmas is over. And, to, and then you see in January, people have still got their Christmas trees up. People have still got their Christmas decorations at the front of their place. And you think, oh my fucking God. Like, I don't know if people are just stupid or retarded, but it's just... And to me, Christmas is just another way for stores to make fucking shitload of money off people. And then you, you see these things that go up to like, so expensive. It's like, I use the example, Easter time where... Christmas eggs are like 20, uh, Easter eggs are like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. After Easter's done, a couple of dollars. Christmas decorations, you think you're getting them cheap right now and stuff. Christmas is over, they go down half price to like 75% of the price. So it's like, why do people do this shit? Um, I say the same for Valentine's Day. People were stupid enough to buy, you know, roses and fucking flowers and candy and stuff, which charge an arm or a leg, and then afterwards... It's dirt cheap. I remember seeing a rose for like ten dollars, and normal price is four bucks. Um, I, as a Christian, only celebrate it because of the birth of Jesus Christ. I don't buy into all the shenanigans. I don't ask people to buy me anything. I don't want people to buy me anything. I'd rather people buy for themselves, and you know. And another reason why I hate Christmas, and I've said this in previous videos, that it's just another time of year where people. Have a reason to get drunk, act stupid, start fights, have arguments, uh, and yeah, I just, and it does start arguments, and especially when you try, like the whole point of Christmas, I understand it's not just about presents, it's getting your families together and, and celebrating as a family, and you have your Christmas dinners, and vegans don't really do that, because fucking what, they're going to have like tofu on their fucking table, because they can't have ham or turkey, or roast beef or anything for their Christmas. So, I absolutely despise Christmas. I don't celebrate it. I'll buy myself something. But then again, Christmas is technically every day for me because I buy myself anything every day. Um, I like the idea of Thanksgiving in some ways. Be thankful for what you have. And helping one another. Like, the whole Thanksgiving things I like in a way. But too much commercialised. I don't like things like Easter... Father's Day, Mother's Day, um, Valentine's Eve, all those holidays. It's just because it's just another way of stores to make a shitload of money off people. 
and as it is, uh, stores make a lot of money off people as it is, and rip people off. Um, it's like here in Australia at the moment, totally different salary, but petrol is just so expensive here and around the world, and people need to go out and drive around, like looking for presents and shit. Most of that driving around is costing money, 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 and then when they do go buy a present, it's like fuck. And you know, take thought of people that don't have money, that can't afford to buy their kids presents, or can't afford to eat, or living on the street. Some people at Christmas time are living on the street, and they're homeless. I feel sorry for those people. And that's another reason why I don't like celebrating Christmas, is because I feel sorry for those people that are living on the street and suffering. Um, but that's yeah, pretty much what I wanted to say on the whole subject of Christmas or holidays. Um, I've said it once on a video that there was, there's no Santa Claus, obviously. There was a Saint Nick, but you can do the research on that. I don't want to get too technical. But yeah, it just pisses me off because, you know, as I've worked 10 years on Christmas Eve and I've worked on Christmas Day afterwards and it's like fucking nightmare. You're trying so hard to fill the shelves with stuff and they just keep getting demolished, emptied. So you could put, like, say, a couple of boxes of Coke, because that's very popular, within about five minutes it's gone like and and please take consideration for the people that fill the stores in your supermarkets because december is a time of year with we all we all struggle and it is rough on us um shows the compassion like if if they if a certain if you go to a shop and they don't have a certain thing um don't have a go at the person filling the shelf because it's not our fault we get whatever comes off the truck usually they're big loads around christmas i think christmas time is usually between five thousand and six thousand loads which uh for anyone counting a, a normal week slash normal night no normal night is about three thousand load so and there's no holidays or events about a three thousand load special events three thousand five hundred or four thousand but yeah christmas there's a lot of stuff and the storeroom's backed up with stuff and I tell you what, some of the promotional stuff too, like uh, the chocolates and the tinsel and the fucking, all the Christmas stuff, we've got stuff at the back of the storeroom that we can't even open sometimes because, you know, they come in like special boxes and stuff. So I just thought I'd mention that because I know how, and Christmas time is also a stressful time of the year and also can be a depressing time of year where, you know, you remember the people that passed away that this year or last year or whenever it happened and that always affects you like you got to believe that every time you have christmas with your family you don't know if it's going to be your last time with that grandma or grandpa or mother or father or brother or sister so i guess th what i'm trying to say is if you are alone christmas day and you don't want to be alone maybe spend time with a family member or if you don't have any family uh, if a friend, you can go join a friend or something in their family, because at the end of the day, life is pretty short, um, and you don't need to buy for, like, I'm, I'm telling you this, don't buy for your boyfriends and girlfriends, right, I'm telling you this because you should value what you have with each other than material stuff, if that makes any sense, like, I believe spending time with your partner is probably better than going to spend a hundred bucks or something like on a present. For me, am I buying any presents? The only present I would say I would buy, maybe something for mum and dad. That's it. I don't buy for my brothers or sisters or kids or partner. So you know, like it's just like in this house, it's just. Uh, my nephew, my 12 year old nephew, me and mum and dad, so I, I might buy him something. If he behaved himself, I'd buy him something, but I, I don't, because you think about it, if you've got a big family and you're buying for all family, you're spending a couple hundred bucks and it's just like, you don't know if they're going to enjoy it. And, and this is the thing when it comes to, you got to set yourself a limit because, you know, at the age of... I believe once you're over 18, you don't buy for anyone. That makes you stupid. Like, it, mostly if you're buying presents, it should be for kids. 
at the end of the day if you're going to buy presents just for kids because you shouldn't be expecting a present at 18 years old I mean fuck I'm in my 30s and I'm not expecting mum and dad to buy me anything you know what I'm saying and you'd have to and, and you'd be really selfish if you expect presents from people if you complain like I know one person and I'm pretty much going to bet money on this that I know someone that will probably be like oh fuck Christmas you know I don't fucking get anything and she's like 30 years old but she'll complain either way um I feel sorry for her because you know Christmas is not about presents and I think it, until the day she dies she'll probably think she'll deserve a present um but I'm not going to touch that subject because just in case she's watching just in case she knows who she's talking about um but yeah I'm not touching that subject I just think, like I said in previous videos, adults have got to grow up and stop acting like children and be more independent. Um, what am I doing for Christmas? If I had my way, I would buy a bottle of Pepsi, bag of Doritos, maybe some dip, drive down to the beach, put some music on and probably just sit on the beach listening to some music, eating some chips and drinking my Pepsi. That's, that's my idea of a good Christmas for me. Reality would probably be uh, when Christmas comes, I'll probably be in this room here, uh, just playing the PlayStation or Xbox and doing nothing. So, we usually have family come over, but I'm not a sociable person. And because of my depression, because I, I don't like uh, interacting, because, yeah, I don't like drinking. I don't, because when we have these get togethers, everyone gets drunk and stupid, and that's kind of where I draw the line. To have a social drink's one thing, but to act stupid, it's just... Oh, fuck. So yeah, please don't celebrate Christmas in November or October, unless you're a fuckwit. Um, I bet you within... Towards the end of December, they'll probably start having Valentine's Day stuff, and yeah. And after Valentine's Day, they're going to have Easter stuff. Well, during Valentine's, they'll have Easter stuff. Like, they always bring it out, like, I've roughly guessed two months in between, like... Before an event comes up, it's two months, so. And Father's Day and Mother's Day, well, I'm just totally against that all together. Like, why not just put it as Parents' Day instead of two separate holidays, have it as one day. So, yeah, thank you for watching. This is a very different vid. Not too much rain, but still, it's shocking because I just can't fucking stand Christmas carols. Though I do listen to, like, like you know, if it was Elvis or Frank Sinatra or Dean Martin. That old shit I listen to. But when you hear Baby's First Christmas for five and a half hours on loop, and that was the only song that was playing while you were working, it'd send you nuts. And literally, it sent me fucking nuts, because I had to hear that for five and a half hours while I was working. Yeah, Baby's First Christmas. Like, that's the only song that played. Not Jingle Bells or Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. It was Baby's First Christmas. Like, what the fuck? But, uh... Ending this video saying that, you know, take time for Christmas to spend with your loved ones. Um, if you know someone that's going to be alone, give them a call, invite them over to your facility. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, just, you know, and people that have depression and are really down on that day, including myself, reach out to them, see if they're okay. Um, I do something every Christmas that no one knows about, um, and it's like a ritual for me that I do for one hour every Christmas. Uh, I won't tell you what it is, obviously, but, um, let's just say that, um, your past always creeps up when you least expect it, and Christmas is one of those times where if there was something that happened on that day, whether it's five or ten or twelve years ago, it's going to eat up at you for the rest of your life so whether it's a death whether it's an incident you know shit always hits you on Christmas Day that's when everything is like for real like it's really real so just take into consideration if you know someone that's going for a rough patch reach out to them this whole December not fucking just you know Christmas Day reach out to them so thank you all for watching Shop the System I don't know what number this is and I say that at every video so yeah It'll be in the title of this vid, so I have to bid you adieu, so goodbye, and good night, and Merry fucking Christmas.